So we're gonna real quick make a GoPro mount. Put it in here. Tighten it till it's flat, nice and flat. Go all the way along. And once you've done that, these holes are not big enough. So I'm gonna drill it out. Be right back. Doesn't quite fit, a little more. Careful not to cut yourself. Just about, you want it nice and smooth. Chainsaw file. Deeper it. Pretty good. Bolt drops right in. Perfect. Then you just take out one of the passenger delete bolts. The passenger pegs, it doesn't come on the double R, so you come with little delete bolts where they deleted the passenger pegs. So you just take one of those out. Kind of line it up how you're gonna want it once you get close. pretty close and then voila you got your GoPro mount see then I took this and I've made myself a camera tether using the front mount see this will tether to the camera and keep it safe just a little piece of nice wire that I had that can be used for safety wire or tethers things like that and there will be my third on bike GoPro mount. Feels pretty good. That little wiggle, you can you can fix this little wiggle by putting some electrical tape under there. Let me show you. you. Just take a piece of electrical tape and put it over the ridge. Smooth it in with your nail. Do that both sides. Feel that joint first, right? And then just smooth out the tape. Get it nice and smooth. Press it in good. I'll sometimes heat it up with an old hair dryer I've got, but it's a nice warm day and the bike's been sitting out, so it's fine. It's not going to go anywhere. You just want that on there good. And then your mount, see? Now, no wiggle. Less vibration. Perfect. Look at that. Not bad. So there's camera three, camera two, camera one. Not a bad job. This is the front facing setup. Sausages. Nope. He's ignoring us. Hey buddy. Oh, good boy. Good boy. What a good boy. 